you know, as we were starting to do these convenings, and again, we've been planning, you know, the sort of string of convenings for a while, it seemed like it was central to bring together the group of people that gets, keeps getting talked about, but less often talked to. Uh, and so I just, again, contextualizing, this is why we're all sitting in this room today. Above everything, you have to take that up and, and champion the writer and defend the writer. Uh, ideally, then you have to believe in the writer, right? And that's going back to the first thing. So, so find people you really believe in. Because I, I have such an appetite for adventurous work and dangerous work and work that's not necessarily being done. It's celebrating the fact that that play eventually got produced and not the fact that I discovered it. It's like, yeah, now we're doing something dangerous and sexy and exciting. Um, in the lit office of the future, we will have figured out the work balance between the time-consuming act of digesting plays and the equally time-consuming act of devising ways of communicating to audiences about plays. Perhaps we will realize that this is two different jobs, and if we want one person to do these two jobs, perhaps we should clone her or download her understanding of a play into a nearby computer for implementation in the marketing team. <laughs> Like this is the way work is supposed to get on, and yet I, I from the outside or I from the inside realize that actually there's a million other ways that it happens. Right. And so, does is this way a waste of my time? Am I being lied to about what the process is of work actually getting produced? Yeah. And I don't think it's not a lie because work does get done that way. But it's just one. But it's way. Just